though we may only see a small piece of Horizon's greater world, the nature of its lore and history can't help but spark our interest in pondering the specifics of Gaia's reborn Earth. Inspired by our previous exploration concerning the Cradles of Zero Dawn, I received many requests to delve deeper into this particular line of questioning. Specifically, what might have been the exact human population on Earth born from Cradle facilities in the year 2326? An interesting question, and one that might give us greater clarity into the thought process of Dr. Sobek and her fellow Zero Dawn Alphas. Though there is no definitive number in the present lore, as always, we will examine the evidence and information we do have to make the most educated assumption possible. Let's begin with the line of dialogue stated by Dr. Elizabeth Sobek concerning Gaia's subfunctions during the Good News, in hopes of identifying exactly how many human zygotes an individual cradle could be responsible for. Hardware that preserves then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. Judging by the nature of the world at large and what would be needed for the biosphere to become habitable once again, I think it's safe to assume that the vast majority of the billions previously mentioned would belong to the seeds required by Demeter to restore the Earth's flora. Additionally, the embryos that needed to be collected and stored were not solely human, as countless samples would be gathered by Charles Ronson and his teams as they raced the clock the world over to collect the necessary genetic materials from animal life, living and extinct, to eventually reintroduce through the subfunction Artemis. With such a vague and all-encompassing figure, we may have to look at another piece of Dr. Sobek's presentation, in hopes of deciphering how many humans a single cradle could produce. When discussing the cradle facilities, a graphic appears showing a group of 50 individuals, then multiplying into a thousand. How accurate these figures are is debatable, being that the difference between the two is rather drastic, and may only serve as a visual aid and nothing more. There is one interesting figure that we have yet to examine, one that once again places Aloy as our key to uncovering the past. Within the operations log of Eleuthia 9, we are able to see Aloy's zygote designation, LK1A1-4510. The first set most likely stands for Lightkeeper 1 Alpha 1, or a slight variant indicating the same. The first zygote of the Lightkeeper protocol belonging to the first Alpha, aka Alpha Prime, Dr. Sobek. Which leaves us with the second numerical code, 4510. It may be that this number represents the order of zygotes initiated, gestated, then birthed from the cradle. And being that Aloy, to the best of our knowledge, was the last human birthed from Eleuthia 9, this may give us the number of how many humans could be born from an individual cradle facility. From our last speculation, we determined two numbers, a high and a low estimate of how many cradles there may be around the world, which we will be using to create our population estimate. If ZD was able to construct some 25 cradle facilities before Zero Day, that would bring our global population in the year 2326 to roughly 112,500. On the low end, and in my opinion more likely option, with 9 to 10 cradles worldwide, then we're looking at a global populace closer to 45,000. I lean towards this conclusion not only for the reasons stated in our cradle exploration, but also due to the amount of resources that would be necessary to supply the newest of our species. Let's compare the needed resources of global cradle facilities to the post-Zero Day Sanctuary of Elysium. This habitat, designated for those who worked on ZD along with their families and loved ones, was designed to hold a starting population of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years. Though much of this sustenance was most likely lab-grown or in the form of capsulized nutrition, as was commonplace during this era, the manufacturing and storing of these resources in the 16 months allotted to Zero Dawn for over 100,000 individuals for some 25 cradles may not have been feasible. Building one Elysium was a huge challenge as it was, and if we reduce the variables we do have at our disposal, resources-wise, it would take the equivalent of four Elysiums to supply 10 cradles this with cradles having the resources for closer to 20 years. If there were in fact 25 cradles, then that would be the resource equivalent of 10 Elysiums, a feat that may have never been able to be accomplished. In conclusion, for these reasons and those in our cradle exploration, though impossible to entirely confirm, I find it most likely that the human population in the year 2326 to be roughly 45,000 worldwide. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come and join our community and hit that subscribe button. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon to help us create new series and to supply more quality content just like this. Check out the link in the description. 
Today's topic came from one of you, our awesome subscribers. So if you have a great idea or interesting question for our next episode, let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep questing.